How's it going everybody? I've had a rough day of fishing this week, barely caught any fish. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put everything that involved, everything that I did this week into one video and we'll just go day by day, see what happens. Let's start with Monday. I'm not sure exactly how this video is gonna go. Obviously you can see back here this beautiful uh, creek slash river. Um, started out the day thinking I was gonna do one thing, everything changed. I drove a couple hours west towards Middle Tennessee, ended up just started going down different roads, came across this creek right here, marked it on my maps, Stopped and fished it for a little bit, so check out what I found. Oh, there's a fish. What is it? A smallmouth. Dude, I got a smallmouth. I didn't think I was gonna catch anything. I'll have to go back and give my intro because um, this has been a weird day. Nice. Nice little smallmouth there. Chunky little fish. I saw something hitting the water up here, but it looked like a lot bigger fish. I don't know what was hitting the water. 30 degrees outside, been flurrying. Caught me a little smallmouth bass, beautiful yellow, yellow color. As you can see, this right here is just an awesome area. I got to come back here. I just discovered this little area here. I'm definitely gonna be coming back in the summer. Try maybe do some kayaking. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. What is it? What a smallmouth? Good one. <laughs> yes. Oh, my dude. That's a fat thing. That's not even a bad one. Man, that's a good fish. Look how stocky that thing is. Well, I really didn't think I was going to be catching anything today. Especially not a bass like that. That's a beautiful smallmouth bass right there. Probably a pound and a quarter. Just, just a pretty fish. He got something down his throat where he, he ate it. But all right, I'm gonna fish a little bit more. Maybe I get a couple more out of here. Let's put this fat little guy back in there. Let's swim right back down. So Monday, I actually ended up driving over 350 miles in my old truck. And I went all over the place, just some awesome scenery. Took some really good pictures, I think. I'll probably show those at some point. Um, just some old things, just driving up and down the hills through Middle Tennessee, you know, stuff. And um, I, I'm glad I found that place. It's definitely gonna be a place I'm gonna come back to in the summer and do some wading and maybe kayaking for smallmouth. Tuesday, I got up, just did a little bit of editing on video. Um, we actually had an away game, so left and went to that. And Wednesday, I had plans to do a um, uh, ultralight fishing uh, in a trout stream, a, a wild trout stream. Um, so I had a new ultralight rod. I'll, I'll probably show that later. But um, so I went there and did some fishing, and here's that part. Fifteen minutes in. Oh, well, he went right through my net. Well, I mean, no monster here. He went through my net, and I tried to hold him in it. All right, little bitty rainbow trout, wild trout. I'm so glad I got one. I'm gonna let him go underwater. Try to get a nice release on this guy. Ooh, that water is cold. There we go. Ooh, that water's cold. Ooh. 
Yeah, there he is. Nice. Beautiful fish. Oh, he is digging upstream. Nice rainbow right there. It's a pretty fish. All right, that's a pretty rainbow there. That's, I think that's a pretty good size one for this stream. I don't, I've fished here a few times. I haven't caught very many bigger than that. All right, let's put him back in there. Maybe we can get this on camera. I love seeing these fish underwater. They're so beautiful. This looks like a trout place right here. Got two streams coming in on both sides. Or the water's kind of divide and come around in two sides. But I've had a lot of good looking places that I haven't, haven't gotten any bites from. There's a fish. Oh, came out. He's right here. I'm not sure if it's a chub or a trout. I hate that I missed, missed one because it's been slow. I guess I couldn't really catch much today. Caught two trout, had a few hits. The water's up a little bit, but looks awesome. Thought there'd be more fish hit. Didn't even get a chub. But uh, it's getting cold up here, so I'm gonna head back to the truck. I'm gonna wrap this up at the house. So moving on to Thursday. So far, I've been really struggling. Thursday, I was uh, contacted by somebody that wanted to, we wanted to fish together. So we were just gonna do a little fishing at the river. It was a nasty day. It was kind of cold and rainy. Went down to the river. I fished three hours in the morning. Three hours, solid hours. Didn't catch a single fish. Um, I just, the water level was low. Everything was kind of a little bit different and I, I couldn't get any bites. We caught like two bluegill. He caught a couple bluegill and that was it. We couldn't really get nothing. So Thursday I had practice with the, uh, the boys. So we did that on Thursday night. So it, it, today, Friday, it rained all. It rained last night a ton. It, everything's muddy. I got an away game today, so I was like, "Well, let me get up. I'm gonna finish editing these videos. We're gonna put it all together. Um, I'm gonna show a few things here in just a second. Some of the stuff that I got, maybe some stuff unboxing, and that's how we're gonna end this video out today." Well, I kind of gotta do some rambling on to make this video any length, but um, I'm gonna show you this here. This right here is a actually my first ever made custom rod that I have, or that I have used, and that someone gave to me. And um, I've been, I've been, I'm gonna show you some other stuff people gave me, but people have sent me some stuff and I've been showing it in videos and I'm gonna keep doing that. If somebody wants to send me something and I like it, I'm gonna show it um, because I like getting stuff. So um, I'm not gonna just, you know, show everything I get and show stuff that I don't like, but certain things here, like this right here is a uh, custom made six foot ultralight rod. So I ended up catching uh, two trout on it. I got two pound um, line on here. And uh, man, this, this thing feels so cool. It's so lightweight. And um, I actually, I don't have a six foot ultralight. I think I have a five foot ultralight. So I like a little extra length. And I just love the way it feels. It feels great. B&B Custom Outdoors. Um, I really appreciate, appreciate him reaching out and offering to give me one of these. Uh, I'll be using it for sure some more. I, I wish I could have caught more fish on it, but I'll definitely be checking it out some more. But if you're interested in getting a uh, some custom made, I didn't realize all the benefits you can get from or uh, that uh come with having one they now they're a little expensive ain't, they ain't on the cheap side but they are nice work all right i got something from scott it gave me a couple uh oh, i've never seen these kind of rooster tails it's got like a double blade on them pretty cool looking uh rooster tail there i also got these gloves that he sent me i actually use them in the video already um makes it easier to grab the fish and i used them it was a little cold and um, they're not, I mean, insulated that well, but it just helps out just to break break off the cold. And actually, it's so much easier to grab the fish. I'll definitely be keeping those handy with me. So thanks, Scott from Pennsylvania. Um, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna be trying out those rooster tails. I'm probably, like you said, let the water warm up a little bit, 
then uh, go down to some creeks and slay some fish. And then I got this two-page letter and a bunch of stuff from Tom, better known as Monkey Man. Comments on every video. I think I'm pretty sure he's watched every video, maybe twice. Um, really appreciate it uh, sending me these things and uh, give me the letter, some instruction with some of the stuff. But um, some nano field line. Uh, I've never used that before. It's really it's something different, and it, this is a six-pound line, but the diameter is like really small. So I, I'm gonna be trying that. I've got one of these, but it. It's very handy to have a couple of these, and this one here is a longer set. These uh, these long extended forceps here, and we got several different things: some spinners, some MEP, MEP spinners. Oh yeah, nice. A couple different sizes. Uh, timber doodle, MEPS timber doodle. That's an uh, interesting thing. Uh, definitely gonna try these out. A lot of this stuff I've I've been getting, you know, I, I've been fishing with them. A lot of lures, and I just can't catch anything right now, but. Um, I know as soon as it warms up, I'll be able to use a lot more stuff and catch a lot more fish. Right, here's one more that I got. I actually got several different spinners. They're uh, Magoosters. They're made here uh, nearby in Etowah, Tennessee. Um, I love the spinners. I've been using them. Uh, there's several different kinds. He sent me there's, these here have single hooks on them, and some have treble hooks on them. There's just a lot of different ones. I've heard good things about them. I've talked to other people that use them. I've been trying to use them recently, but I haven't caught a single fish on hardly anything recently. So. I'm going to keep using these, and I like the way they spin. They spin really good. They're kind of slow, and um, I got several different ones to try out. So thanks for sending, out, sending me these um, Magooster uh, baits, these spinners. All right, so like I said at the beginning, this is a weird video. A bunch of stuff getting put together. Basically, I'm kind of showing you how I do my week, though. Some days, I'll have five days in a row where I fish and I, can't, and I make a video every day, or I have enough stuff to make a video. Some days, it's every other day. Here in this winter, it's... I've been struggling to have every other day. It's been make a good video every three days, four days, something like that. So I'm putting all this stuff together. I got a game I got to leave here for in a little bit tonight. So I hope I get this video edited pretty quick. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Thank you so much for all the people sending me things. I'm going to try to get them in videos. I'm trying to use them. I know as soon as the weather breaks, you'll be seeing a lot more of those lures and those um, stuff out there. But thanks for watching.